This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Residual fuel pressure always remains in the fuel system long after the engine has been switched off. This pressure must be relieved in a controlled manner before work can commence on any component in the fuel system. Disconnect the negative battery cable before continuing. The battery is located at the rear of the engine compartment under the bulkhead. Slide the plastic cover in the direction of the arrows then lift it out to gain access to the negative battery terminal. Loosen the clamp nut, then disconnect the battery negative lead from the terminal. The fuel filter is located underneath the rear of the vehicle, in front of the fuel tank. To gain access to the filter, chock the front wheels, jack up the rear of the vehicle and support it securely on axle stands. Where fitted, undo the panel blocking access to the fuel filter. Loosen the hose clips. If available, fit hose clamps to the filter inlet and outlet hoses. These are not essential, but even with the fuel system depressurised, there will still be an amount of petrol in the pipes and the old filter. This will drain out when the pipes are disconnected. Even with hose clamps fitted, the old filter will contain some fuel, so have some rags ready to soak up any spillage. Detach the hoses from the filter. If crimp type clips are used, discard them and fit worm type clips when reassembling. Similarly, if the fuel hoses show any signs of perishing or cracking, particularly at the hose ends or where the hoses enter the metal end fitting, renew the hoses. It may be possible to slide the filter from the mounting at this stage. The easiest method is to unbolt only one of the mounting bolts and loosen the other, allowing the mounting to pivot downwards then sliding out the filter. If it is tight, unbolt the mounting from the underbody and remove the filter on the bench. Before removing the filter, note the direction of flow marking on the filter body and check against the new filter. The arrow should point in the direction of fuel flow, which is towards the front of the car. Fit the new filter into position with the flow marking arrow correctly orientated. With the filter located in the mounting, insert and tighten the mounting bolts. Reconnect the fuel hoses using new clips if necessary. Ensure that no dirt is allowed to enter the hoses or filter connections. Remove the hose clamps. 
Tighten the hose clips securely. Clean up any fuel that wasn't absorbed by the rags and dispose of the fuel soaked rags properly. Reconnect the battery negatively to the terminal and tighten the clamp nut. Refit the plastic cover and slide it securely into place. Reactivate the radio by inserting the security code. Start the engine, noting that there may be a delay as the system repressurizes and the new filter fills with fuel. Let the engine run for several minutes while you check the filter hose connections for leaks, then switch it off. Refit the panel underneath the filter. Lower the car to the ground. Where fitted, undo the panel blocking access to the fuel filter.